Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Tiny Rogues. Um, I haven't played much of the new update. It's not a big update, it's a minor update. You know, added in the, uh, the better shrine support and whatnot. Um, but I think I am just going to probably just random a character and then play it. Um, there's achievements for, like, play as chaos play as doppelganger and defeat each floor with 10 floors. I thought I did that before. And then there's one for the deprived, which is get super cursed. But every time I try to play as the deprived and get cursed, there's only like four curses that show up. So I'm just gonna hit random. I don't wanna play as the cleric, I'm gonna hit random. <laughs> I don't anticipate dying that much is why I don't necessarily love that. There you go. Increase attack speed per heart container you have the warrior. That's a pretty cool combo. And uh, we're on cinder level 10. This seems acceptable. We could crank it up, but I don't want to. We start with a random item. You know what, I'm just gonna start with the bombs today. I don't wanna random the broken hero sword again and everything else is like, eh, whatever. Although again, I've, I've learned to appreciate the radio. The radio is actually pretty darn good considering that it gives you constant periodical effects, which could synergize with something. So I like that, I actually do like that quite a bit. God awful wand axe, you know what, let's just make it better. We're gonna be uh, probably stuck with this weapon for a short time. Okay, never mind. we could just immediately swap to the hurting knife. Critical hits when triggering a mark. Funny is that it actually has just about the same range as the previous weapon we were using. Yeah, maybe a little, little longer range, but I don't know. Maybe we'll just use it for a little while here. I'll pick up a level up. I'll go for some beef. We have plenty of bombs. We lucked into getting some additional bombs. And I like playing as the warrior. I like playing as classes that have synergies and combos. And this is one of those classes that does. The more health we get, the faster we attack. And I think that's a pretty unique and interesting mechanic because we can stack up HP, be defensive, and also be offensive at the same time. It's also just fun to have, you know, synergies in games like this. As one might expect, of course. If I'm lucky, I can kill the ads at the same time as the tree. Mel Thompson says, how about Gungeon? For the warm-up game, I don't want to play Gungeon. I could play Gungeon, but I don't want to play Gungeon. I'm Gungeoned out. You know, that's a game that I'm gonna have to come back to in like six months to a year and just be like, hey, let's play some Gungeon again, guys. I don't need it. I don't need it anymore. Wake me up when Gungeon 2 comes out. You know that Devolver, they're gonna be working on it now. They better. <laughs> Le Dernini says that it reminds me of Nom's Mom's Knife from Isaac, except not as good. 10% increased melee attack speed per spirit companion. You get two of them. On dash, trigger a goat. Um, we could have the dash synergy again. On combat, start, get battle rush, and then periodical. I don't know, we could just go like super heavy burr build. Burr, 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 burr. Maybe we can uh, find equipment. I mean, actually, this is kind of a nice. Dude, they have, they have, they're actually ranged. That's interesting. Um, it would be nice to have synergies with this. Like maybe we can uh, buff our melee attack speed so high that we can just, you know, burr to death. Burr. Magic, sword melee, flame bears, we take it. Now, we're not going to get, um, hello. We're not going to get a ton of... Yeah, I'll upgrade this. Oh, more fire damage. I'm trying to think what I was gonna say. We're not gonna get a lot of 
melee attack speed from the familiars, but I do like having them out here just doing additional damage. Um, what's their damage type? Slashing? Maybe we can build around that, you know, have slashing damage affect the enemy in some fashion. Yeah! Holy redundant enchantment, Batman. Also, Brick. AKA Brick! Gains 100% crushing hit chance. I always find it weird that the weapon gains crushing hit chance, um, and then it has a damage range. Like, why not just have the damage range be, you know, 280 to 280, not 120 to 280? It's never gonna hit 120, although maybe it can. You know, maybe there's ways that you can purge your, your crushing hit chance. I don't know. Anyways, slice and dice. Nope, wrong video game. Isaac is great, but I've never played Risk of Rain 2, says Mason. Ellington Team says, speaking of Isaac, I got Risk of Rain 2 and Isaac both recently. I hope you're enjoying both games, because they're both great. I haven't played a lot of Risk of Rain lately. One or two, but... Yeah. And where are we going? Evil. Increased damage with guns and cannons, increased mana regeneration, increased damage dealt to fiends. You know what? Screw you. Seagus Jr. Hello, how are you doing today? What up? Imagine your death and the person pulls out a brick and defeats you. Just bashes a brick against your skull. Ugh. Imagine your death and someone just walks up to you with a freaking BFG. <laughs> Periodically launch a explosive. I mean, and that is very funny. I do like this one. Backup armory, no thank you. We're running out of bombs. Combo, com, com, combo? They've added a ton of content to this game since I played it last year. I only played Tiny Rogues during the Heaven and Hell update. I never played it prior to this. And really, the only reason I started playing it was because people kept suggesting it, saying, hey, Abe, you should play this game, you're gonna like it. And I did play, start playing the game, and I did like it. I'm triggering any effect, gain haste, gain a cr cloud, gain trigger damage. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Pawn shop? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, losing the um, armor did lower our health by one. But I think that's fine. Equip load capacity. I don't think we're going to need this, but I'll hold it for now. Thank you, Rocket. By the Rocket! Wish... Whoops, I just ran into that bullet. Hello? Perfect little game doesn't try to be anything it's not. Music is very charming. Music's great. They added in recent, uh, they added new music relatively recently. It is, uh, it's a great game. It's just a solid dungeon crawler bullet hell, which I like. Hmm. Fighter's Mark guarantees ruthless hits. On the tally of five primary hits at close range, that's the problem. Um, melee attacks is fine, but you have to have a shield. On the tally of melee attacks whilst wearing a shield, I hate it. Swagger is pretty good. Guaranteed crit hit and primary attack triggers your on dash effects. Even though they nerfed it, it is still amazing. We just need to get on dash effects, but well, that'll happen. And if it doesn't, then fine, you know? I don't know if that rocket hit, but I hope it did. Had a good run the other day, says Melt Thompson. Had the companion who gives you bonus sound damage and BFF, so that was a cool plus 90% damage right there. Increased weapon attack speed. Increased effect of burn and scorch. 
Okay. So now Burn does... 75% damage and Scorch increases damage by more. Do we, would we rather have just more top end damage? Instead of 5, 2, 2, 6, 7, 9, 8, 6, 7? I don't know. Have you played Bard since the update came out? No, but now that you say that, I really should, shouldn't I? Because I think they changed Bard so that instead of having to spend runes getting all of your, like, magic spells, it has a different mechanic. So I should probably play the Bard. It never rolls Bard, though. It keeps rolling the, um... That's a lot of missiles. It keeps rolling the, um... Cleric, who I don't want to play as, because I don't want to die. Epic weapons? Yes. Butcher's Cleaver. Bleed, triple damage. Love to see it. Titan's Sickle. Increased critical hit. Anchor Flail. Very fun. Echoing Fury. Repeat attacks. And grants Fury on hit. Increased attack speed. No increased damage. Up to 40%. I mean, that's pretty good, but I love me some DOT. Take that Butcher's Cleaver. Or maybe we should go... Echo? Mace? Melee? Medium range? Medium range. Both of the same range. You hate the anchor? The, the anchor just does so much damage. Like, crushing blow, anchor, 3,000 base damage. It, I mean, literally crushes. Give me Echoing Fury. Actually, like, exceptionally fast. And then hits Grant Fury. What is, what is this? Haste. Why do we get haste? On triggering any effect. Is repeat a trigger? It just immediately grants full stacks of haste. Or may maybe it's triggering swagger. It only takes three attacks for this thing to quote unquote trigger, so I'm not entirely certain what's going on there, but I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> that seems good to me. You know what, let's take the bombs. Very easy access to uh, triggering the Cloud set, I'll take it. Mighty Crush. Echoing Fury is pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of equipment in the game that interacts with Fury and Rage. So I figured, let's take one of them. Maybe we can get the other piece of the puzzle, and then maybe we can build some sort of, like, you know, buffs run, where we just buff ourselves. It's also just a good weapon. I can't afford upgrades, but... Actually, the range is not as bad as I thought it would be. Ah. Dernuna says, it always feels strange when Quirk is not here. Quirk is almost always here. I mean, um, I believe it's like, I don't know, four o'clock for her? She's probably at work. Probably a lot of people at work. Disposable's probably getting home and riding the bus right now and maybe they're actually listening. Can you hear me, Disposable? Are you on the bus? I dare you to turn up the volume so people can hear. Hey, everybody, look, this person's on their phone with the volume turned up. Shun them, shun them! Critical hits give you bone splinters. And then primary attacks consume bone splinters. We crit every five attacks. There's some, like, synergy there. Ashen Ran, welcome. Why are you red? Your color has changed in Twitch chat. That's interesting. Um, I think this is a bit sleepy. Hopefully you don't fall asleep on me. Who done Beetlejuiced me here, says Disp. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! You can't fool me. I know who you are. Yeah, Disp is always on mobile. 
All right, the rocket was pretty good there. Yo, this is copyright infringement. I was about to say the Disp and Nambi aren't here either. Nambi's here. I haven't heard anything about um, drinking water though. Increased damage dealt per missing heart. Increased sound damage. Plus poison duration, mana star. I guess we'll go mana star. I don't know, more evil? We attack very quickly right now. Time to chug a lug. Chug a lug 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 a I'm not using the burn sword anymore, although I could. And we're not using the bleed uh, axe, because I have echoing fury. <sighs> striking and body damage, uh, it is striking damage. They do slashing damage, you do magical damage. Instability takes more to end damage. I'm just gonna reroll. Gain berserk. 20% attack and movement speed lasts eight seconds when you deal a critical hit. This can happen all the time. So I'm taking it specifically for even more attack speed. I mean, we're we're spamming our bullets now, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I did not see that one coming. Out of bombs, take some bombs. Vent. Okay, well now I'm gonna heal for half, but at least we have half. Rub the magic lamp. Um, we're gonna want money. I think you always want money. Um, strength or whatever it is, just might upgrades your weapon to level four. I don't really care about that. Buy that. Can't see what this is. 10 power and a flame orbital. Hell yeah. I don't know why I bought that. We're not cursed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I bought that. Um, let's upgrade our weapon. I guess let's go for a uh, health flask, considering how wounded we are. We did get poisoned by a snake. There it goes. Charm or rare? Give me a, uh, I don't know, rare. I mean, our damage, <clears throat> our damage is uh, pretty all right. Nothing to write home about yet. We got a lot of stuff happening. Familiars active. <laughs> it's the Titan Ring. It's the knife shoes. Mm. I want them both. I want them both. Guaranteed crushing hit chance is insane, but it only works with two handed weapons. Knife shoes. It actually works pretty well with repeat attacks. Yunin, welcome! I'm so used to watching these on YouTube, I try to check the name of the video to know what the theme of the run will be. Sometimes that's accurate. So sometimes you can tell the theme from the title. Other times I just have to make a title name and I just don't know what to call it. So I just call it something at random. You'll never know. You gotta watch to find out. That's how I get you. I'm out of bombs! I used it here! I, that's probably more important, admittedly. Ah, whatever. 
Dartling Gun, The Separator. Guaranteed ruthless hit chance. I mean, we're better off with the Echoing Fury. Partisan, nah. I'll take a gun. You never know when you'll need a gun. Why do I feel very slow as well in this game right now? Kind of heal. Hey, Dare Nunu, thank you for the gift subs. Gaga, that's absurd. Thank you very much. You're always a, a constant supporter of the stream and I appreciate it. Isp says, thinking about going into a prep course for the next two months, guaranteed getting into law school. I hope that uh, you, you do what you want. And I didn't get one. <laughs> I wonder what Twitch does. I don't have 50 people watching, so I'm like, okay, who got the gift sub? Just like random ass people? <laughs> How does it decide? That's a question I've had previously too. Well, let's um, pick up some stuff. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Dare Nunu. As always. Periodically triggers a phoenix. An anonymous gifter gave one sub to Seagus Jr. Kaka. I gotta gift someone I wasn't watching someone says username, they were just in my follow list. But it's funny that Nambi didn't get one when they're here. I, I enjoy that though. I like the uh, implication. They don't deserve it. <laughs> Periodically triggers a phoenix. The phoenix is pretty good, pretty good. And thank you, anonymous gifter. The gift sub to Quicksilver. Kaka. The Kaka is awful quiet, but I think it's fine. I'm just trying to figure out, by the way, what to take. I guess increase effect of burn is nice. And you know what, we don't need the ninja dagger. Dump it, all right. You know what? Hold up. And Dare Nunu, thank you for the gift sub to Nambi. You hit him. Gaga. Well, not uh, Dare Nunu, thank you, uh, thank you for your continued support. Plus one maximum stacks of shock. 5 to 25 dark damage, plus 1 to weapon deck scaling. Do you think that only affects this weapon? Can we go from like S to S plus? Oh my god, you can. I don't think that actually matters. Also, it... Oh, it's affecting all weapons. Oh. Very interesting. I like it. Okay. Play the Elden Ring orgasm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All weapons, and I think S plus 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 exists as Milt Thompson. Maybe we can get more level ups from the curse shrines, we can get even higher. That'd be interesting. Audrey says, I have this stream up on my TV behind me because I'm sewing and I just keep hearing about gift subs. We're on the level nine train, way to go. All due to one man, Gaga. Thank you for the gift sub to Audrey. I guess uh, Dare Nunu is just on in one of those moods. They're like, you know what? I like gift subbing. I like supporting my favorite streamer on uh, youtube.com slash Abe Clancy or twitch.tv slash Abe Clancy. And you know what? More power to him. People get cursed shrines are possible. 
I like the effects that you get out of some of the cursed shrines because they are pretty interesting. Like aura size and stuff like that. Like, okay, I've never done aura build, but you can. Well, okay, it's not that I've never done aura build. Aura build is just hard to get. But rather, let me say, finding the aura granting uh, items seem to be pretty rare because there's not many of them. Okay, interesting sound. And Audrey, thank you for the gift sub. <gasps> Gaga! It hits against bleeding enemies inflict vulnerability. On dash trigger goat. This will happen all the time. Instability and shockwave. I don't know, do we want goat force? I kind of want to buff my, my own self. Brawler seems great because we have so many actors in the room. Yeah, brawler. Plus two soul hearts cursed lolly lollipop. I can't speak. <laughs> Ooh la lolly lolly lollipop. I'll take a lollipop. Oh my god. I think we got him. Good job, friends. Goat Pog. Well, rip goat, I guess. Now the real question is, what item do we want to... What weapon should we be using? We have two go pretty good weapons right now. Illegal Tomahawk. Illegal Reaper's Toll. One hundred percent critical hits lasts five seconds. You received a level three hype train emote. Oh, nice. Int, power potion, slime ball, inflicts sticky goo. Key, lawful charm, magic find, stamina recovery speed, increase effect of chill, refill flask, revives you once. Two keys. Um, let's sell some stuff. What's our equip load right now? 190? We don't need 25 from the charm. Oh, this thing is also buffing our cell value quite substantially, this gold charm. Gold charm. Gold charm's ready! Increased fire damage to melee attacks. Okay, it's actually buffing the damage by a thousand. At least on the sword. Yeah, I guess we'll keep that then. I don't know why it's so impressive on the sword, but I'll take it. Plus 0.5 over one heart. <laughs> Give me the... Keep the gold charm. We're gonna get another sick shop later. We're gonna buy some stuff. Buy some keys, that way we never have to come back. And uh, I think we're good. The collector, welcome. How are you doing today? How's everyone doing? Elton Team says pretty good. Lecter says that's good. Took the words right out of my mouth. Resting damage from you inflicts puncture. Damn straight it does. Crappy coral flail. Charcoal pine resin. Guess we'll take it. I mean, it's just it's another fire buff, I suppose. Uh, I don't think we need to go to another black market, but also why not? Misfit sword, guaranteed crits with ex hits at the furthest extent. Anti-gravity boots, shuriken, purging stone. Am I cursed? No. Fish bones, jellyfish, stamina, blossom, 
Souls, 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 and souls. I will buy the HP. For souls. It's exp oh yeah, more souls for me! It's expensive, but it is also, I think, something that we're gonna be wanting. We're gonna want to go into uh, HP to buff our attack speed. And you know what, for $10? Full health, and booze, I almost forgot about the booze. Your new new loves Abe hates money. Yeah, pretty much. Da -da -da. I would say we all love Dare Nunu for their continued support. I also love them because uh, they always manage to convince me to come back to Nuclear Throne, which is a great game. And I still need to do that at some point so that I can maybe find uh, the new, well, not new content, but the old content that I've never experienced in um, the third loop because I've never lived that long. Maybe one day, maybe one day. Okay, stamina, a non-triggered lucky hit. I guess out of all of this, I will just take this. Lost shop, evil shop. Um, I think we're evil. I mean, I know I am, personally speaking. Increased damage depending on how evil you are or increased top end damage. Which is better? I don't know. Um, I have to buy something. I don't know what to buy. I'm gonna buy the cheapest thing. Militant says, I'm still on the grind. I got a decent portion of the crowns, but not all of them yet. I think it's stupid that you're trying to get 100% in that game, but you know, you do you. <laughs> I, think, I think it's too much. I think trying to get every achievement and every unlock in Nuclear Throne is too much. I think there are too many things to try to unlock in that game. Getting all of the crowns on all the characters is a nightmare. You're a, you're a silly man but more power to you. Plus one second to burn, more poison, more tipsiness. tipsiness. We'll go more tipsiness, the other options are terrible. I'll go burger. I like a burger. Also, why is our, oh, you son of a, why is our weapon doing so much damage? Way too much time. Way too much time and like, just way, there's BFF, 0% right now. Way too much, like, effort for what, I, for what I assume is going to be a relatively minor payout. Stack, burn, and bleed works pretty well on Phoenix Sword. Arcane Familiar is just funny, because then we get another familiar, which we don't need. But... Stacking, I mean, out of all of this, I think that's the best one, but I don't think it's very good. Because it, it doesn't make the fire damage do less damage, it just makes the burn stack more. Which against bosses should be pretty, pretty effective. 20 power. All right. Inflicts confusion on a nearby enemy. I'll take it. Leprechaun. Increase attack speed charm. We'll use that later. Oh, and there's a hat. Increase effective tailwind and swiftness. Blech. We might not take might we might not use the um, perk we just picked up, fire and blood that much. If we want to, we can just swap it out later for something. We have one obsidian dice. Maybe we'll get more. It's another mimic. You know what? Happy. Lucky hit chance. You know what? Arcane. Mana drain. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, and then... Fear. 
And, um... Sure, I'll buy a bomb. I think that's an okay shop. Whoa! Of course you give me one of these right after I spend all my money. Um, well, we'll take it. Giant hammer with crushing hit chances. Stormbreaker on hit triggers a chain lightning. Okay, I, th I guess we're just going for all of the... All of the legendaries today. I mean, you gotta, you gotta try it. Consumables. It seems highly great, especially for crowds. Mana Star? Yeah, why not? Username says, I forgot Phantom Fury is coming out soon. Last I checked, the demo showed the awful state of the game. Now, when you say awful, <laughs> I think we got him. What do you think? Do you think I should check it out? Phantom Furry <laughs> for a second there says Ellington team. You would increased elemental damage. Uh, increased effect of luck taking effect plus three luck. It replaced the hat. Increased stats granted to you by companions per stack of tipsiness. Yo, that's what we want. Party. It's a party. Our attack speed is plus 98% right now. Okay, yeah, we're gonna stick with this. Um, happy use, of, you know what, Stormbringer? Potent Stormbringer, increased top end damage. Uh, we're going to equip this stuff for now. Do we really want Leopard? No, we want the party hat, so I'm gonna take this. Increase elemental damage. It's a boomer shooter, but like the shooting is not even fun, says username. No, oh, that's sad. How do they get that wrong? Yo, I'm realizing this axe also homes. That's pretty cool. Fire scimitar, critical hits trigger a fiery burst, dealing damage. It also just deals a lot of damage, but we don't need it. We got weapons already which we're gonna be selling in two seconds when we hit up the next uh, shop, AKA not shop, but pawn shop. Hydra wand, someone's a Hydra. I like the Hydra wand, I just wish that they would like last when you swap weapons, but they don't. I will, I will take it and sell it. Stormbringer's pretty good, gotta say. Happy. Still want to keep Echoing Fury, because if we get a synergy with it, I want it. I want it. And I want it now! Shooter only consists of two things booming and shooting. This is the Nor. That's like 90% of it, yeah. Honestly, though, I don't need a boomer shooter in my life. I have hell divers. <laughs> Which I know I haven't been like recording a lot of it or streaming a lot of it, but honestly, it's just nice to have a game that I've played fun. 
Not like I don't have fun playing other games, but it's something I play for fun for myself. Which I've been enjoying. Can't reroll. You know, it's a game that I, I play with friends just uh, just to have a good time. Just to shoot the you-know-what, and also not have to worry about always being on all the time. On dash, you get super effective. Increased lightning damage. Increase effective booze. We might take that because we have a lot of booze. Yeah. I think what we want is we want more booze so we can stack up the bonuses from companions as well. Some duck quack welcome. You're live. Are you referencing the fact that the other day I didn't stream because my internet went out the entire day for like 12 hours and I didn't even get a notification that it was going to happen, so I was very annoyed? Yeah, I am alive. Imagine that. Previous game was made by a different studio. They honestly were what made the game good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Booze is permanent now, with more effect, with more effect. So beer is already at 90% increased damage. We need one more booze. Everyone be on the lookout for some beer. Oh, I have six mana stars. What happened? Look, yes, but also... Tequila. Increase critical hit multiplier. I'll do it. Man, we attack quickly. If only I had something that buffed buffs so we could buff Fury, but that perk never showed up, did it? Which is the entire reason why I kept echoing Fury. It's so that if we do find you know, those synergies we can build into them, but they never showed up. When an orbital completes a full rotation, gain a stack of satellite support, a stackable buff that grants 20% increased damage per stack up to five and five seconds. When an orbital completes a full rotation, gain satellite support. I've never had this on a orbital build before. Interesting. Um, I think it's unnecessary. Stormbringer. Honestly, I kind of want to get rid of fire and blood. You can back out of this, by the way. Best friends forever. Okay, literally useless, because I have so many companions. Barbarism. Critical hit multiplier. Yeah, okay, I can accept that. Go, max level. There's not going to be any money from here on out. What about highlighting your messages? Are we talking like this again? I don't mind when people highlight their messages. Highlight all you want. You'll just be very sad when I actually do add something to do with the uh, channel points and you're not going to have any. It's the thing that I wanted. Dude, our crit multiplier is actually like pretty high, isn't it? 520%? Yeah, that's pretty good. 
As if you're ever gonna add something to do with these things, yeah. You know me. You know me too well. It's immunity to push and pull. I like the power buff. We already have, like, how much power? 50 currently, due to having four companions and me. That's pretty good. Offhand or charm? Give me, uh, maybe an offhand. There he goes. Got him. Probably will happen when we finally get the Hell Divers stream. I was gonna do it on Saturday, but then the internet went out all day, and I find that to be a very funny coincidence. Increase attack speed. Periodicals increment by a second. Hmm. I can reroll. Increase damage per maximum block you have. Increase radiant damage to melee. Power is also a buff, though. It adds lucky hit chance. You can roll, take the higher roll. Offhand, torch, or eye orbital that doubles debuffs on targets. We don't debuff enemies. Eh, give me the... Give me the zealot set. Increased attack speed is good, but we're never going to take it because of the hat, so I don't know why I'm holding this. How evil are we? Evil. GTA 7 will come out before new channel point redemptions are added. Also a possibility. Collector says I'm down to 192 points. <laughs> My points! damage with non-crits. We don't crit that often. Only like... Twenty-eight percent of the time? Something like that, yeah. Soon mask. A non-trigger lucky hit trigger barrage of three fireballs, each dealing a bunch of damage. I've never seen this one before, I don't think. We don't lucky hit, do we? In hindsight, I'm gonna stick with the one that's actually good. I don't know why in my head I thought that we would be able to see what it was. I don't know. In my head, I guess I just thought it was the uh, the same as the flower pot. It is not the same as the flower pot. Let's dump it. Dump it. Dump it. Imagine having so many points. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting till my next point drop and I'm dropping two more highlights. I brought Bellatro. I hate to admit that I played 12 hours straight once I bought it, says some duck quack. Game's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. Ah, that's why we have so much mana. Fallen Star, mana companions, they grant two mana stars. Why are they giving us two mana stars? Because of the armor! The hat, actually. Yes, the hat. Okay. So I think we want the zombie arm so that we can get, like, insane boss damage. Like, we go boom, 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 boom. Now we have 80% increased damage dealt to bosses. On top of that, we have more power. Yes. 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 
Who cares about mana? I'm not a wizard. Yeah, it's pretty good. What's the deal with the mana? Says his name. <laughs> we had too much of it. You're a wizard. You're a wizard. That's a duck. You're a wizard, duck. Alright, I doubt this will land. Oh, you son of a... I have a hard time dodging curved projectiles. Plus one to fire weapon upgrade level. Attack speed also applied to periodical rates. <laughs> huh. Huh. I mean... <laughs> There's something to be said for Ultra Phoenix, right? We could level up the weapon once, or every 1.83 seconds we get a Phoenix. Pixely, thank you for the resub. How you doing today? Kaka. Bro didn't have a chance when Abe is drinking his beer. I like this. Yep, let's do it. I want phoenixes. Every 1.83 seconds, summon a phoenix. I don't know, lucky hit chance? There's one, there's one, <laughs> there's one. All right, I like it. Immediately, I like it. Just drive by phoenixes. We have enough multiplier, give me a potion. Like, I'd have more range if I used the other weapon, but I like that this is just infinite phoenixes. Actually, the lightning is pretty damn good, too. Meow. Meow. Increase movement speed, plus one evil, increase stamina recovery speed. Look for the stamina. You know what, now would be an interesting uh, time to stack. Fire, now that we have so many, well, you know. Flame birds. All right, let's do this. Eagle One standing by. Okay there, Eagle. You look different today. Just, yeah, just, you'll hit eventually, I'm sure. Oh, hold on. Um, celebratory drink. That was a fun run. It was really just a couple of good weapons and then a fast attack rate, but that's kind of just what the character is. 60% max attack speed up thanks to our 
Thanks to our class perk, a couple of familiar friends giving us an additional, like, 40% on top of it. Actually, that was pretty much all we had. That was good. That was good. I like, again, I like playing as classes that have scaling, beneficial, synergistic effects. I don't like the cleric because it's like, hey, when you die, you can die once per floor. And it's like, okay, well, I can't really build around that. I don't want to build around that. I don't want to build around being bad. <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't understand it, and I probably don't understand it, because there are synergies around death and being brought back to life. Uh, Revenant, you can come back to life and do double damage, which is fun, but assuming you die, you only have like one or two HP, right? I like, uh, like characters like the warrior, the wizard, the sorcerer. Even the soul hearts, you can build around that with that uh, int trait that makes you have power per soul heart. That's a lot of fun. Or just like, like globally beneficial perks, like plus one evasion built in. I like that. Anyways, good run. And for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at the various links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Tiny Rogues.